Bottom seven, tie game, bases loaded, two outs. Huge moment in this battle of the Bay. Maybe the last one in the Coliseum. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. The first pitch from Snell was a ball inside. Next, a ball up. Not even really that close, to be honest with you. 2-0. and oh. Okay, got ourselves in that bat. This is a batter's pitch, a hitter's pitch, they would say. Not a batter's pitch, but usually you're going to fastball here. You're going to be geared up to swing 2-0. Oh, he's got to find the zone. He can't. He's up. He's up. He's above the zone. He's in 3-0. and oh. Take of all take signs. Up again, but the umpire says, nope, that's strike one. And the A's are like, are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me? You just gave him a gift, you know? It's an old school thing for umpires to expand the zone 3-0, 2-0 to keep it competitive, and that shouldn't really happen. I don't even I don't think he was doing Oh, now he's found the zone. Umpire let him back into the count. Full count now. The fans are up now. They're clapping. Let's go. Let's go. Full count. Base is juice. Two outs. Grounder to second. Grabs it. Fields it. Fires. Side retired. Yeah. Snell is excited. And the umpire get him back in the count. Katsai's mad. He's like, what? What? Now the next inning starts. They go to commercial. And the next pitch is thrown of the following inning, and it's inside. And I think at this point, the A's dugout, they got to the, the iPads, and they saw the technology, and they saw that it was, at, yeah, it was a ball. We were right. Confirmed. So they start really chirping at this point uh, where everyone kind of pauses, and then they don't have a shot of it. Why would they? And the umpire, he just ejected. Uh, Katze from the dugout. Again, no shot that I saw of it. Uh, so now Katze is going to come out. You missed the biggest pitch of the game, and you missed it. You missed it. That was our biggest chance. Now, you might be like, Jimmy, how do you know he says that? You can see chance at the end. Also, there were some hot mics, but you had to jam them up really loud in the headphones, so it wouldn't make for a good video. But he does say, that was our biggest chance. You missed it. Now, this next line, I understand the gist of it, but I couldn't put together the exact words, but he's basically saying, like, how do you call that 3-0 pitch? It wasn't even close, but here's a look. I'll run through it slowly for you. He's saying, how do you not, how do you not, or... Oh, I just got it in live time. I don't give a... If it's a 3-0 pitch, it wasn't even close. That's what he says. I just figured it out in live time. You just saw me. Been been trying to get that sentence for a while. Couldn't. Took, could, you know, it was like practice. Practice slipping doesn't matter. Game time. In between the whistles, I just got it. He says, I don't give a f if it's a 3-0 pitch. It wasn't even close. The whole at bat. The whole at bat. He wasn't close. So, yeah, he kind of was missing high the whole at bat. Then once he got that 3-0 pitch called a strike, then Snell found the zone. It was like, yeah, you know, I'm Scott my back. I'll come through for him. Long walk. Long walk out of the Coliseum for an ejected manager. In front of everyone, too. A little bit of shame. Umpire, proud of himself. He says, I'll just keep calling it high. You know, that's what I'll do. I'll show him that that is a strike. Continue to call it. Maybe I'll piss off both sides. Oh, I swung at that one. I would have called it, though. 2-2. Uh, two, two. Give me one high pitch. Oh, there you go. See? Strike. I'm calling it both ways. I ain't biased. Everyone's mad at me now. Yaz walks away like, oh, terrible, dude. And yeah, maybe, maybe not. Your call. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring. Thank you to you guys for watching. Appreciate you. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these and you're not subscribed. Thanks.